Hey guys, Travis here, and today I'm going to be doing a, a furry friend tag. Um, this is going to be uh, uh, something different. I've never done one of these before, so this one's going to be about her, little Bella. Love my life. So I got nine questions, and I'm going to answer them, and it's all about her. First of all, what is her name? Obviously, her name is Bella. And uh, how did she get her name? Well, I don't know how uh, Mom uh, got her as a surprise and came up with her name. Uh, she's not na well. I will say this right now: she's not named after uh, Bella from Twilight. I'm I'm very honest about that. She's definitely not named after her. Uh, but where it came from, I don't know. Uh, my family had that picked out long before. Number two, what breed is she? She is a golden retriever, and uh, she looks her body type and her head and her fur. A lot of people think she's a yellow lab, which is there's a difference. Um, as you can see, her fur uh, is very long, like in her tail and stuff, and uh, in her ears. That's a golden retriever. A yellow lab has short fur all the way around. Now, stop eating questions. Silly. Number four is how long have I had her? I've had her now for about a year. And, uh, and how did I get her? Well, uh, last year, most of you know, um, we lost Emma which was the golden retriever we had before. Emma was a big part of my life. She was with me for 11 years and I miss her, miss her every single day. Now how I got Bella was that she was a total surprise. Um, it was around Christmas time last year. Um, I was still reeling over the death of Emma. And uh, in October, uh, mom and me went out to St. John's. I know, you don't like this, do you? Uh, we went out to St. John's. I went out to watch the World Cup of Darts to make me feel better about everything that was going on, and Mom had to work. Now, my mom works with the Red Cross, so when we went out there, Mom said to me, she said, uh, I got to follow up. Do you remember? Well, we had to drop off a couple of cakes to uh, a couple of the places, one in Gander and uh, one in Clarenville. So we did that, and uh, Mom said to me, she said, uh, once we got back, she said, I got to go back in November to follow up on the cakes. Anyway, this was December, so uh, December rolled around, and uh, she said, uh, Oh, Travis, by the way, do you remember when I told you that I had to go to Clarenville to follow up on the cakes that we went out and did when uh, we went to St. John's? And I said, yeah, but then I thought, oh, that's not her. But anyway, I, I figured, oh, well, something got changed around. So I did my daily routine. I got up, and blah, 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 blah. You know, kept the fire in, throwing some wood downstairs because we use wood to heat the house. And, uh, turned out to be three o'clock. Nothing. Four o'clock. Nothing. Five o'clock. Nothing. Finally, six o'clock, I phoned my grandfather and I said, Hey, Pop, can you take me out to get something to eat? I'm starving and they're not back yet. He said, Fine, okay, sure. So, went out, got something to eat, came back, and seven o'clock. Nothing. Eight o'clock. Still nothing. Finally, at 9 o'clock, um, they came in the door. And I was upstairs playing video games, right miserable. And uh, Mom comes in, she's got this big smile on her face. So I ask her, you know, how was your day? She goes, oh, it was good, very good, actually. She asked me how my day was, and I was like, mm, you know. So anyway, and walks my stepfather. And he's got something in his arms, but I don't know what it is. Sure enough, it was her. This adorable little butterball, a couple of weeks old, just a few weeks old, and she got into my arms and I immediately fell in love. It was a Christmas miracle. Ooh, you, you, you were my Christmas miracle. And we bonded instantly. And uh, it was a very good Christmas, I gotta say. She, she's been a, a big void since Emma passed away. She'll never replace Emma, but she's definitely somebody who, uh, who I love dearly. Okay, uh, number six, what is the quirky thing that she does? Well, when we uh, want to take her somewhere, uh, she 
All we got to do is tell her if we're going somewhere, and next thing you know, she'll get up on the chair. This chair here, she'll sit down and she'll wait. Um, she also, we can't make the bed. We can't make our beds because she'll get right in there and want to lie down on them. Uh, when my stepfather take her sometimes out to a place called the Salmon Ladder, Salmon Ladder Road, or up to his farm. My dad has a cranberry farm. And uh, anyway, they'll go so far, and um, finally, here it is now, Bella won't want to go any, any further. She'll turn around and want to go back. So uh, we, uh, my stepfather says, well, you want to go back? You want to go back? And sure enough, she beelines it right for the truck. And <laughs> that, that's one of the funny things she does. Um, uh, what else funny thing she do? Oh yeah, when she meets anybody, she rolls on her back and you immediately got a rubber belly, which is good because uh, she's not aggressive. She's not an aggressive dog at all. She's a sweetheart and she's very submissive and very kind. She has a best friend, uh, Zoe, or not Zoe, a uh, Sophie, just uh, next door and they're best buds like you wouldn't believe. Uh, what does my relationship mean with her? Well, when you have Asperger's Syndrome... <laughs> And uh, you spend your entire life with no friends and not loved and, you know, your best friends on four legs. Your relationship with them means everything. I mean, she's been with, for me, so, I mean, she thought I was choking one time when I, when I uh, coughed and I uh, had a, when I had a mouthful of drink and uh, I, I just spit it out. She thought I was choking. You know, my relationship with her means everything. She's been such a big comfort to me and I love her so much. And um, when I was, I was 14 when I got when I got Emma, and I'm 25 now, going on 26. So I plan to make up for a lot of the past mistakes that I made uh, with Emma. Of course, I was younger then, and I didn't know. So um, she's uh, she's been my comfort, and my relationship with her means everything. By the way, ladies, if you want to get with me, you accept the dog, or you don't accept me. What are my favorite past pastimes with her? Well, we like going for a stroll. We love... Going, we love cuddling together, we love uh, hanging out and, you know, just shooting shit or whatever the case may be, and uh, there's a lot of pastimes with her. We love playing outside in the summertime, and, uh, oh, another quirky thing that she does, she's afraid of water. She's the only golden retriever I ever met that was afraid of water. And what's my nickname? So, well, we call her Bell Bell, we call her uh, Chicken Dog because she goes so far and she want to come back again, uh, Schmidley is another one, or Bubba, and, you know, she's a, she's a wonderful little girl, and I love her so much. So, once again, anybody who has animals as a pet, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, that's all for the furry friend tag. This is Bella, I'm Travis Walsh, and that's the way it is.